Went to be a, a little bit more passive. Rangers control the face off on the power play. Another minute 20. Throwing by one. Come on, Rangers. Here's Panera. Out to Fox. Out the loud for Panera. Defended by Slavin. Now to Madigan. Panera. Across to Adam Fox. Here's Kochek. Yes! Woo! What I'm talking about, baby. Comes the king. I was Carter crossing in front. Got a piece of it. Yeah, sorry, Jay. Uh, I thought it was hit by Grider, no doubt. Good job by New York to possess the puck, get some time and space. And Grider with the tip. Jody, you talked about it. Working on plays down. Woo! Oh, you're not entertained. You should be. Chris Kreider. Two goals in four minutes, 11 seconds. A senior member of this Ranger squad, Chris Kreider. Tie game, y'all. Wow. We could clinch tonight if we if we can take the if we can if we can get if we can get a late goal in regulation or in overtime, we move on. We pull off a miracle. Do you all believe in miracles? I do. We shall see. Maybe we will advance. We shall see. We need one more goal. Finally, we got a power play goal. We're finally tied. We finally did it. We need, need one more because we're this close to advancing. I think I may have predicted earlier that we're gonna the, we're gonna see the Hurricanes do the same thing that the Rangers did the last game, blow a one goal lead. That's what happened. Yes, I called it. <laughs> Five twenty-five remaining. Third period. Chris Kreider with a pair of goals here in period three. I like that. They should be happy. Yep. We just need one more. It's all it takes. What does it take to define the ideal driving experience? We shall see. It takes Pole Star Two. Swedish design and engineering, and up to 320 miles of range. Polestar 2 is designed for drivers. That Chris Kreider tying goal gives me hope and realizes that we're not dead yet. You know what's brilliant? Boring. Think about it. Boring is the unsung catalyst for bold. What straps gold into a rocket and hurls it into space? Boring does. 
boring things. Meanwhile, Bob is by Edwin Diaz, and Grand Marshal Second, because it's smart, dependable, and safe. Are leading the full lead for the big bomb of the night. Nearly 160 years, PNC Bank is completely boring. Roger Clemens, you know, are Clemens is up to bat. I'm boring. He cannot run. Brandon Marsh reads the word "walk." I like that. Reminds me of like a designer store. This smells like a candle. Is this a joke? You chose Axe. The wild pitch by Edwin Diaz. I thought the designer ran. Dude, dog food in the fridge? It's not dog food. It's fresh pet. Real meat, real veggies. Real weird. He was bad luck anyway. Chris Kreider with a pair of goals. In the third period, our SAP Coaching Insights app. The line of Friders of Anajad and Roslevic, one point in the last two games. They've combined for two goals, two assists. The goal with three assists for the Panera and Project Montfernier unit tonight. And we expect great things out of Zabanajad and Kreider on the power play. But what stands out is the five-on-five goal, the second goal of the game that they scored to get this this party started for the Rangers. Uh, Get the party started, boys. We want to celebrate. We need to bring Clemens up to that for the Phillies. Okay. Cody Clemens drags out swinging. That's two outs away from winning. Just tied the game with, with Bryson Stott singling on a ground ball of right field was going by James Landmore's score. But the blue shirts take the lead! Woo! We're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're moving on. I don't know what to say. I, I thought we were going to game seven. I guess we don't have to wait till Saturday after all. See what I told you guys? Don't give up. Just go on. And when you don't give up and you just go on, miracles and all the great, lots of other great stuff like this will happen. You just have to have faith in your team. And I love my team and I have so much faith. And this is what happens. Good karma. We're winning tonight, baby. We're going to we're going to the Eastern Conference Finals, baby. Woo! I had no idea this was gonna happen. I can't imagine how New York is reacting right now. We're very excited. Second 
Was the stock in by Robinette. Goes the puck out of the zone. Slavin with it for Carolina. And, that, and if you all just saw there was a crying hurricane fan on that was just, I mean, can you blame him? Wow. Believe in miracles, huh? Rangers go for a change. Anderson sells the puck down. Coming into this game, Anderson had the best third period. Imagine Philly's going to extras. In the entire league during the postseason, he has allowed three. Anderson with it for Carolina. Goes the puck out of the zone. Slavin with it for Carolina. Slavin with a shot. The start can handle that one. Another look at the goal here for Kreider. Chris Kreider, baby! And now the hur and then now the hurricanes are about to And here's a scene at MSG. Where are the hats? Wow, look at New York go crazy. And now the hurricanes are about to empty their net. I had no idea this it was gonna come down to this. This king had no idea. But all I know is you don't give up on your team. I never did, and you know, been supporting this team since day one, since day one of this year, and boy, look where it's gotten us. No quit New York, huh? Oh, no. Over the glass, down to 239 remaining. Wow. What a save here by Shesterkin. 50-50 puck. It just kind of squirts on the front. Shesterkin off it. Perhaps Shesterkin was surprised that he got it, too. What a save. I mean, you talk about having to be on your toes. Shesterkin could have easily relaxed there. Look at nothing play. And then he comes up with a... Chris Kreider, man, you are, you are the man. If any, if I could give play off MVP to right now, it would go to you, man. You're definitely player of the game. You played like a king tonight. Kings are not quitters. We may suffer setbacks, but it's, it's how it is. But setbacks lead us to success. Lead us to miracles. Boy, did this has this king is about to see a miracle right in front of his right before his own eyes. Unbelievable. We were trailing and now it's 4-3 New York. Because <laughs> once we win this game, we're going to need to figure out who, we, who we're going to play. The Bruins or the Panthers. Okay. Because if we get one, because since that the Car the Hurricanes have emptied their net, so that means. Wow! Looks like Game Seven won't be necessary. We won't have to wait till Saturday after all. We were trailing in this game, guys. No one thought we could make it this far. No one thought we could do this. But it's all, this is what's come down to. We worked hard for this, and here we are. And meanwhile, the Mets and the Phillies are tied, so the Mets have apparently blown the save. It happened when the Rangers scored that goal to take the lead. To take the lead, yep. That's... 
I can't imagine that so many fans in Carolina right now are going to be so are not going to be so happy after this one. And I don't, I really don't blame them. Because we need at least one more goal to to to, to, to add for insurance to to guarantee that we're going to win. We shall see. I can feel it inside my bones. All right, you know, take the timeout, Carolina. Probably seen a couple things there that have opened up, and it's definitely that middle of the ice. But then Laviolette was telling this guy to hold the middle if it's a 50-50 puck. And I think it's the right play by Brendan Moore here because I, I, with the you know the, the constant icing, I don't think fatigue was an issue for the Rangers. So it's not like you're trapping them tired. Get your group to the bench. Draw up a play. Get everybody on the same page. Yeah, the defensive players get, some, get a rest, but so do your, your offensive guys here. Get the play you want drawn and see if you can get something to the net. Gensel and Burns uh, a little conversation there. It looks like there's going to be some kind of interchange with those two, maybe. We'll see what happens here. But a lot of good options. Brady Shea out there. That We're going to win. Shot. Right handed shot, Brent Burns. Better right, luck next year, Hurricane. Better right, luck next season. Sorry, homies. Rangers with a 4 3 lead over the Hurricanes. Chris Kreider with three third period goals. Buck along the wall. Play by Burns. Taken away by Truba. Knocked down by Jarvis. Battle for the puck. Truba wears it out of his own. Down to a minute 20. Rangers send out of Fox off to the ice. There's Jarvis. Pass broken up by Vizi. Touch the cuff, slides it across. Hurricanes need a goal. They led 3 1 earlier in this third period. Come on, come on. Let's score here. Yeah, one minute of play time. Woo! All right, people, at 60 seconds. Woo! Yeah! Woo! We win, baby. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. We're gonna win, baby. We're moving on to the ECF. We're going to the Eastern Conference Finals, and we're gonna be one step closer to the Stanley Cup. We're going to win, guys. We are going to win. Empty net. Barkley Goodrow. That's going to put this one away. Thank you, Hurricanes and Carolina Hurricanes. What happened? 30 seconds. Wait, wait. Yeah, now it's... All right, 30 seconds, guys. Last time the Rangers won a playoff road game when trailing entering the third period was the guarantee game for Mark Messier back in 1994 in New Jersey. Messier scored three in the Mets third. Matthew is going to the bottom of the 10th. Tonight, Chris Kreider. All time for the third period goals. It has been 30 years. And you're right, Jody Scott is the appropriate word. Guys, we won. We won. We're moving on. Ten. Nine. Yeah! We won, you guys! Yeah! 
was that? Turns out the Rangers had one better, and it was Chris Kreider. Woo! We did it. We did it. We're going to the Eastern Conference Finals, baby. Now, let's all think. Who will be the Blue Shirts Eastern Conference Final opponents? Who will be our opponents? For it's either the Bruins or the Panthers. We shall see, but thanks for watching. Go Rangers, go Blue Shirts.